You're gonna love our next guest. Sophia Spencer was two and a half when she fell in love with bugs. By kindergarten, she was sharing all kinds of bug facts with her classmates, but then she got to grade one and she started getting teased so much, she decided maybe liking bugs wasn't a great idea. That's when her mom stepped in with an idea that changed everything and now the entire story has been turned into a book. Sophia Spencer is here to share. Good morning, how are good you? Good morning, I'm good, how are you? I'm good, happy belated birthday. Oh, thank you. Okay, so take me through your story. You fell in love with bugs. How did this happen? It was all about the butterflies, if I understand right. Um, yeah, when I was three years old, I went to a, a butterfly conservatory, which is like a zoo, except just for butterflies. It was in uh, Niagara Falls. And, um, and a blue butterfly landed on my shoulder, and it didn't leave. It was there for the, uh, the entire trip. Like, uh, when we were leaving, the guard had to take it off of my shoulder because, you know, you can't take exotic butterflies with you, <laughs> which I completely understand. Um, so, uh, yeah, ever since then, I've been in love with bugs. And then when you got to kindergarten, your friends, you told them all about bugs, and they thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. They did, but it all changed when you hit grade one. You brought a grasshopper to school. Can you tell me what happened? Um, I brought a grasshopper to school and everybody thought it was weird, it was gross, like they hated it. And then, um, and they, you know, they hit it off my shoulder and they killed it. They like just jumped all over it. Then they were walking away and they gave me a little smirk and I was just like, that was rude. Um, so yeah, then, uh, then I like, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to bring any more bugs in, so I didn't. Yeah, you told your mom what happened and what did she say? Um, she said, uh, you should still continue, like, your passion, like, you love bugs. You should, um, you should keep, you know, you should keep, like, doing what you love. Um, but I, I didn't really want to because I wanted to, you know, have friends. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. And it's tough as a, as a mom, she wants to encourage you, but sometimes when our parents say stuff to us, it's always kind of hard to hear, but she didn't just say it to you. She wrote to entomologists across the country and yeah. they said it to you too. So tell me about what happened then. Um, where she wrote, and, you know, she wrote a letter to the Entomologist Society of Canada. They said, uh, they said, can Morgan Jackson replied saying to my mom, can I put this on uh, Twitter? And she said, um, and she was like, yeah, of course. She was just expecting like to get one or two responses, but that didn't happen, you know. I got a lot more than just one or two responses. Like hundreds? Yeah, like hundreds and hundreds. Oh my gosh, unbelievable. We saw the tweet there. What we're seeing here now are pictures from the book because from these letters, your mom and you had this idea to create a book. And now you've written this beautiful story about your journey, yeah. about dealing with bullies at school, about yeah. your love of bugs and staying true to your dreams. So tell me about this book and why you love it so much. Well, I love it because it really does just describe the story. Like, it really does just say, like, this is, this is why she was bullied. This is what happened in the end. And, you know, this, this is, this, like, you can follow your passion too. You don't have to give up. So you're 11 years old now. Yeah. You're in grade five. Yep. If you could look back at grade one, Sophia, what would you say to her? I would say just keep going. Like in the end, it's going to turn out okay. It's going to turn out okay. I will tell you, I read this book to my kids who are five and two, and now they're talking lots about bugs. Yeah. My oldest is going into grade one next year, and he's feeling a little nervous because it's, it's grade one. Yeah. Uh, but he read this and he said, Mom, I can be whatever I want to be. Yeah. You're doing it, Sophia. You're inspiring others. Good. Do you know what you want to do when you grow up? Um, I'd like to grow up to be an entomologist and to uh, study uh, grasshoppers, flies, or uh, uh, what was it? Grasshoppers, flies, or stick bugs. Okay. So, what is it about grasshoppers that you love so much? Well, I love that they uh, they have so many different features. Like they can jump, they can fly, uh, not long distances, but they can fly. Still, it's pretty cool. And then. If we were grasshoppers, and not grasshoppers, if we could jump the same length as a grasshopper, we could jump the size of a football field. No way. Yeah. Okay, that is cool. Yeah, I think you've I converted so. me. <laughs> Sophia, thank you so much for being here today, and congratulations Anytime. on the book. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.